Welcome to this brief overview of Super 8 by Native Instruments. This synth runs in the free Reactor Player 6 and Complete Control and is the first NI software polysynth since the Pro 53. In the next few minutes I'll be taking a look at some of the features of Super 8, showing how easy it is to create a couple of patches from scratch. The architecture of Super 8 is very visual, with everything accessible on one interface. This makes it very easy to see what's going on with the routing and resulting sound. Let's start off by playing a couple of presets so that you can hear the breadth of different types of sounds that can be created with Super 8. This preset is a great demo of the kind of modulation that can be achieved with Super 8 and the sort of clear visual feedback on the interface. You can see the LFOs controlling the pulse width modulation of the oscillators and also the filter response all in real time. So let's apply some of this processing to a new lead sound, starting with the initial patch. A very basic sound with few assigned parameters. Each of the two oscillators has three different waveforms, sine, sawtooth and square. Just drag to mix these. There's also a fourth wave which can be switched between a square wave sub oscillator or white noise. This creates a more complex tone for our lead sound. You can skew the waveform shape with these dials underneath each one. The numbers underneath dial in the intensity of the modulation, assigned to either LFO mod 1, 2 or the filter envelope. You can hear the movement that this is adding. So you can see the flexibility here and that's with just one oscillator. There's a second oscillator that works in the same way. Set the mix between oscillators 1 and 2 with this dial. Pitch and fine tuning for each oscillator is here. Or use the frequency modulation control here to have oscillator 2 control oscillator 1. With optional syncing. There's also a toggle to put oscillator 2 into frequency tuning mode. Just by tweaking the oscillators, I've already created an aggressive lead. Let's work on it a little more. The filter module has many controls for fine tuning the EQ filter response, including three different filter types, overall frequency and resonance controls, key tracking and velocity response. dial in character with this knob and the oscillator 2 frequency modulation can be added here and assign the filter to envelope mod 1 or mod 2 with these dials. The pitch mod can be set to LFO or envelope just here. There's adjustable speed and delay or attack and decay parameters and intensity controls for the two oscillators which can be linked. This gives our sound a short, sharp pitch dive on the attack. The two LFO modulators and the filter envelope can be assigned to various parameters. A couple of nice features worth mentioning, you can combine wave shapes with the modulators, setting up more complex shapes. It's also possible to sync the timing to your track BPM. A 
low modulation speed gives our lead a wavering detuned feel. The amp module and envelope should be pretty self-explanatory, with controls for volume, velocity response and panning. The FX section at the bottom here is split in two. In the first module you can choose either chorus, flanger or delay. With various parameter controls for each, the chorus effect thickens the sound even more. Next to it is the reverb module with three different spaces, including the epic galactic setting. Up at the top of the interface there are global controls for monophonic or polyphonic playback, with glide intensity. This is perfect for our slippery lead sound. The drift control dials in some unpredictable analog circuitry emulation and the pitch dial is for Super 8's overall pitch. The unison, voices, stereo and spread controls here will add more voices and widen the sound across the stereo field. Any synth worth its salt comes complete with a full range of routing options and Super 8 is no different. Some of the most useful routing is already set up, with important modulation sources pre-wired to some targets already. If you want to go further, it's a simple matter of clicking here, and then clicking a control to assign. Then just choose one or more sources, including any of the modulators, envelopes, MIDI mod wheel or touch strip. In this case I've assigned controller touch strip, aftertouch and key tracking to filter cutoff and resonance to add subtle performance variation. <laughs> So that's our pretty beefy lead sound. One of the best aspects of Super 8 is that because all of the waveforms, parameters, LFOs and envelopes are all on the same panel, you can quickly make changes to the controls, transforming one type of sound into a completely different timbre with just a few adjustments. Listen here to how changing up the waveform mixing, flattening out the pitch modulation and increasing the release time gives a lush angelic pad. Hopefully that gives you some idea of the power of Super 8, a very accessible synth with deceptively complex capabilities once you really dig into it. For more information head to the Native Instruments site and thanks for watching.